Now I want to show you video of one of the guys who is since suspended. His name is Justin Pearson at the Capitol. This is a day or two ago. Take a look. Seemed like the NRA and gun lobbyists might win. But oh, that was good news for us. I don't know how long this Saturday in the state of Tennessee might last. But oh, we have good news, folks. We've got good news that Sunday always comes. Well, that's, that's pretty powerful. He's got the hair and the thin tie and he's got the MLK accent. That's powerful stuff. That feels very authentic, doesn't it? Hot damn, here he is. Same guy, 2016. Justin J. Pearson, and I'm running for president of BSG. There are a few reasons that we're running this campaign this year. One has to do with representation. How can we represent all voices in a conversation? I want to do this by partnering with organizations from the Boone Democrats to the Boone Republicans. I want to bring together different voices, dissenting voices, voices that may be more liberal or more conservative, in order that we can reach a point of sort of the radical middle. That was him as a normal person speaking in normal cadence back in 2016. Let's just watch five or ten more seconds of him just a couple days ago. Seemed like the NRA and gun lobbyists might win. But oh, that was good news for us. I don't know how long this Saturday in the state of Tennessee might last. You know, I'm starting to think that anyone can do an accent like that. And I don't know how long I can do the accent for, but I'll do it as long as I have to to drive home the point that anyone can talk in a certain way and I can lift a coffee mug and talk over here even though I'm talking to nobody. And I can take out my chapstick and I can put it on and tell everybody from sea to shining sea, that if you just use this accent, then gosh darn it, you're making a better point. Because if you talk like this, and I want to bring the Democrats and the Republicans together, that doesn't really work, you understand. You've got to grow out the hair. You've got to tell the people what your problem is. And you've got to get the media to tell everybody that you're MLK too. Because this kid over here, he was just saying, hey, Republicans and Democrats, maybe we can find some things together. But it doesn't work to do it that way.